The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour on Friday, May the 26th, almost wrapping up the month of May. We'll look, we're going to be looking at the monthly charts in a moment because I had four or five requests um, to, to look at certain aspects of monthly chart, technically, etc., in the different indices. But first, I just wanted to say it's important in the Chapman Wave methodology to be as patient as you can. Now, I say that almost as if I'm talking to myself because sometimes I can get impatient. I, I like to do things quite quickly once I decide to do it. Um, so I like to play tennis, something really quick. You've got a quick response and the, <laughs> you should see the result instantly. Um, but at the same time, there's a pattern that I look at. In the Chapman Wave methodology, uh, I'm always looking for, let me just get it right here. You know, we always have new listeners. I mean, TFNN is just all around the world. I get emails from people all over the show. In the chat, we, we try to identify the lowest low bar. From that low bar, we count each successively higher peak. Um, and there's your starting point. If that initial ictus at the bottom is taken out by one penny or 0 .001, whatever, if it's taken out, you have to restart the whole count. You, then the buy signal you thought you had or buy mode is done if you haven't got to a D. D is the objective, four higher peaks, alphabetically A, B, C, D, F, G. At D, other things can happen. So look, here we go. This is the, It doesn't matter what it is. It happens to be the one-minute uh, E-mini chart gave a real nice signal at 840. It pulled back. Uh, nine crosses positive uh, over the 14. It goes peak A, peak B, peak C, pulls back. To D made a beautiful cup formation, left side, right side, price, time match, everything that you look for. Make this good, but the stochastic keeps bouncing around, so it's, it's just be a little careful. Makes a cup and then goes to an E. Then it pulls back much sharper with all the technicals. Uh, nine period goes pink, and then all of a sudden you get this. See at the bottom, you have this on balance volume, just turns up. The stochastic makes a W formation under 20%, moves up the MACD, turns up. This is Technical Friday, so I wanted to go through some of this. Then it starts a brand new move, and it goes green again. It goes peak A. Now the MACD is really performing. Look at that. The 9-period differential is positive over the slow 26-period moving average. Uh, the, the, you've got an M-shaped pattern, very strong in the stochastic unbalanced volume. Move. Everything's in sync, and it goes to peak A, B, C. <clears throat> and then what happens is it starts to stall. I'm keeping this up here because I want to show you something. So you need patience because the patient says – if the 9 is still over the 14, and the reason why I'm doing this is I'm talking about monthly charts, then if you're a patient, you can see a little bit of a pullback that eventually, if it's it's like a rectangle that suddenly turns into a bowl or a cup formation, can retest that high. So you've got a peak C, but just less than a point below, you've got peak C1 because it looks like the technicals gave you a little hiccup right there. You say that could have been a peak, but it was a, a higher peak, but it wasn't. So you keep it in place, and look what happens. So I'm going to now move this away, and it goes again to a peak C1, C2, C3. And the technicals are all weakening, weakening, weakening. It looks horrible, but it's holding above the 14 and 9 period exponential moving average. It's still green. And then what does it do? It makes that elusive peak D right there, pulls back, pulls back quite sharply, but doesn't take out that low. And that says it's still 9 over the 14. It's still green. So I'm always a little conservative. Technically, that is a gray A. That right there, that's a peak right there. This is a gray B right here. Remember, you don't even have to know what you're looking at. It's just the patterns. And this becomes an E slash C. Should be a C, but when you've got this cup formation and the MACD is still quite weak and the stochastic's only now gone over 80%, I'm always a little bit cautious. So I say, nothing to do. Just be a little bit careful because this could pull back much sharper than you think. But so far, everything's positive. So this is exactly where we are. Why did I want to show this? And here's the 10-minute chart. This could be a brand new leg beat to the upside. Now, one of the things I did, 
and I spent, I can't tell you how long I spent, I should, I should know that if I'm spending time on something, it's really important, and that I should go with my, my instinct, which is based on, 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 on tacticals, not just emotion. And I was looking, and I said, I really want to, I love what I'm looking at here, but it is a Friday before a long weekend. I wanted to go long, our, our favorite instrument for trading, um, the UDOW or the SDOW. We didn't go short the, on the pullback and the Dow, but I wanted to go long, the UDOW, which is three times long. We are still long the UDOW and the Dow from the low of October, but this is, we've had trading positions, lovely trading positions for some time. But, uh, you know, uh, I just overthought it. I thought, wait a minute, this is a Friday. Um, it was trading, and the UDOW was trading, the low today is 52.40. It was trading kind of in that area, maybe just a little bit lower, maybe at about, I, I, oh, fan, I just so much I can't remember what the price was. And I thought, if I get this in leg C to the downside, look, there's your gray A. Above that is another A. And another. Uh, uh, just below that is a B, but it's still above that a over there, and now it becomes a C. So I'm always you. You take the top. That's your. That's your count to the downside. Your obje objective in the channel wave is always to count e all the all the peaks and all the troughs, and that's where you get your your guidance for the technical side. And I thought, wait a minute, this is Friday. We've got a long weekend. And you've got all this stuff going on with the budget. What if we get in, um, and it doesn't go all that much to the upside? It does rally, but not all that much. But then by two o'clock this afternoon, in fear of the weekend, this starts to pull back. Oh, a bit of a waste of time. And then the more I thought about it, I thought, wait a minute. There is so much in the way of bad news here, that is political news. But we've had such nice reports in some, not all, just a handful, but enough very important stocks. Maybe we really are going to see a rally into Wednesday, the end of the month. And then we've got to watch out for June, the first week or two of June. Anyway, I didn't go into that. It was very silly because now this is up just, um, uh, it's up 1.26, up 2.4%. I mean, these are percentages that add up as you just, we could have taken, I would have said, go in. If it hits this level, raise the stop. If it hits that level, take a little bit off and keep the core position, but raise the stop. It would have been there. And it, but I thought, well, what happened? We do that. And then on s Sunday night overseas, because they don't have a holiday, uh, things are weak. And then Monday is a very weak session. And then we come back. Monday night is the usual Sunday night future session. And everything's like, I, I, and people are just kind of stuck, especially if they aren't able to. You know, get out of positions over uh, when uh, uh, overnight trading, and I overthought it. Nonsense! You got the tick right here. Not only that, I see in the chap in the Chapman Wave methodology, we've got a Chapman Wave Roman candle right here in the in the uh, Dow chart. Not the diamond so much, but in the Dow, and it says if you go halfway into the wick, watch out, you can hit the bottom. But if you break above and close above. For two out of three sessions, that's really positive action from this particular candle. I wanted to go through that just to say it's a lead-in to the S&P monthly chart, which we're about to talk about. We've got a break right now. Dow's up to 263, and the S&P is up 31. Well, that's a pretty nice phase over the last week. I shouldn't be complaining. And look, the S&P went back into the Chapman inside track. Propeller zone couldn't make that pattern we were looking at. I'll be back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hello, so I just wanted to show you a couple of other things. So in the term way methodology, I like to use certain techniques that I've had for years. So there's a measured move from this doji cat. Oh, the, the other thing I wanted to talk about is you tell me. You see this blue line, this dash blue line? I've been showing it now for, I believe it must be four weeks. And I said it's a really important, uh, 4148 is going to be really important. I'm just putting it in because at some point we'll be over it, under it, over it, under it. Would I expect that up until, <clears throat> up until 3.50 this morning, 10 to 4 Eastern time on the 26th of May, it would hit exactly by 4148.25, have it been all over the show? How important is that? And it's going to be important next week. Right now, it is totally unimportant. So what I like to do is I like to draw in a measured move from this, from the low, to a possible peak D. And then I choose a particular candle because if it's still holding well, there could be a move to the right. So we had this perfect double right there, right? I drew it in. And then I wanted to show, usually I'd make a cup formation, but I th I, it, it, you know, some people don't have the arch in their technical tools, so they have straight lines. So I thought I'd show it this way. Look, <clears throat> right to this particular candle that I really love to use as a, uh, a, a kind of an indecisive move, it kind of gives you incredible clues. That's the reason why I like candlesticks. It's one of the, one of the reasons. And it also spreads out the price. If I just had the bars, it wouldn't be there. So it takes you from that side, which is the low at uh, three at three fifty this morning. The price was forty one fifty three in the E mini, uh, forty one fifty three twenty five. It takes you to this candle right here at seven ten this morning, and uh, the high was uh, forty one sixty six twenty five. And I'm I just I was doing this way before um, it was in the break, so it was before that. And I drew in the right side, and it said by 10:30 uh, this morning, there should be a test of this high that was made right here, and that was the one I made up, and that was at 41.94. So right now we're trading. We just went right through it, and I drew in a vertical line to say that's where we go, and there it is. So these are technical tools you can use. The MACD is good. Stochastics fabulous at 98.76%. On balance volume says, 
a little bit overboard on the very short term. Ay, ay, ay. I, always, I always get upset when everything's there and then I overthink it. Talking about overthinking it. Um, so the reason why I wanted to show you this is because I wanted to go to right here. So you remember I said overlapping a wave E slash C. That means that technically, I just want to make sure I don't miss this. Uh, this was a high. I think it's 25 cents high. 93.50, 93.50, and 93.75, 90.94. Okay, good. So this is D and that's E. And that's the reason why I have the alternate count, because the 9 is over the 14. All I have to do is put the letters in. There's nothing here. I know no, this is one of those where there's no thinking, because it just follows the pattern. And the pattern says, bullish, hold tight. So that means that wasn't an instant restart. That turns, and I, I always like to go back to correct or update so that the chart is correct in the, in the methodology that I use. So that plus becomes a, a down arrow, and this up one becomes an up arrow. Yes, it's historic because it's already done, but I like to show the technique to myself and to anyone watching. And look, the nine's still there. Now we're getting a little bit on, on balance volumes, a little toppy. Stochastic fabulous at 97, 92%, 93%. Now we'll see what happens next. Now, the reason why I want to spend a little time on this is to go to, and I, I should run all the different indices uh, right now. But we're on the S&P right now, it's up 36. And I'd say to subscribers, I, and that's the reason, the other reason, oh, frustrating. The other reason why I wanted to go along the uh, the UDOW is that it had to play catch up and look right now the percentage wise it's up uh, if I can lean over 0.85 percent the S&P is up also 0.89 percent and, and it's at 86.89 and the Q's are up 1.43 and I said to myself there's a chance that the, the Dow might even outperform because it's playing catch up but this gives you a really good chance by the end of the month We've gone to a peak C, maybe even because no way I can I count this after a G. There's no other count that I can have here, but that's A, that's B, and this is the daily chart, and that's C at 42.12.91. But the Chapman methodology says, have patience. You almost always go to a D when you've got a buy mode in place and everything's sitting there. So we could fail by going to a peak C1 and just trading at like 42.09, 42.10, and then turning down sharply. But I need to know we got there because we did get there in the futures. But really, the, the futures, it's a derivative. I like to go to the root, and the root is the cash S&P. And now you can see the derivative there has an alternate F slash C. I could have said it's an F, not a C. But in the meantime, the nine-period moving average has not turned negative. And that's another reason why I thought there's room to go to the upside, even though Everything you read says, oh, uh, crash coming. I mean, I've, I'm getting emails from people saying, bank stocks, get out of everything, get into cash. And I'm saying to myself, what, what, what are they thinking? I mean, this is just a normal market. Look at the chart. Does that not look at that monthly chart? Does that not look like a normal chart? There's nothing spectacularly wrong. There's no big divergence. Nine period moving average is green. The, um, this is the S&P monthly. The MACD is flattening out. Look at the histogram, how it's been improving over the weeks, but it's not good enough. It hasn't gone positive. This is the monthly. Look at the stochastic. It hasn't gone to 80%. It's at 63%. Not a good sign so far, but you've gone flat with everything that's going on. We've managed to go sideways with almost a cup formation forming here. So until we take out the 3100 uh Oh, that was the Dow chart. I should <laughs> that's the Dow chart. Let me just go to the S&P because that was one of the big questions was the S&P. So let me go. Yeah. Oh, so there it is. <clears throat> Wasn't I on that just a moment ago? There it is the, going up towards the the, uh, the 4212 level. as a 4193 <clears throat> improving even as we speak. Um, look at this monthly chart. It flipped. The month has still got a couple of days to go. But so far, it's turned green. The nine period moving average is green. It hasn't been there for a long time since it broke down back in um, early 2022. So the MACD, look at the histogram improving, but not great, but nice, flattening out, and then it starts to move up. Look at the, MAC, the on balance volumes, a little overbought. Uh, these stochastics rallying is only at 60%, but it's rallying. 
So it's stronger than the Dow it technically at this particular point. It's gone to a leg C in the monthly chart. But remember, my, my thesis is that that peak B there will be negated if underneath it there's a, a peak C and then a peak D below that. That peak D under it gets priority. That's really important. Okay. So I want to, so technically I was asked what I talk about it technically, number one. Number two is I was asked about the S&P. Where did I wrote the question down here? Um, Steve wanted to know uh, about, oh, now I don't have it in front of me. Oh, I'm sorry, Steve. But I, I think I'm covering everything that you asked, maybe even more. Uh, but what I am looking at is I'm going to expand this for a moment. I'll move this over to the week. There yeah, right, Now this monthly chart, I'm going to open up as we go to the break. And I want to show you something. You see the chat break inside track repellent though? This is the second month and the month's not finished. But so far, this is the second month that it's been above the, the green line. It, this, this is really good action so far. It's not great because I'd love legs to be much higher, but it's good action. Huh, I'll be back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. <laughs> We're looking at the, the, at the Dow. It's up now 375. It's up 36. So, question about digital ocean holdings. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> it's trying to make that Danny Ryan uh, please review DOCN. Uh, it might go to the 50s. 
one step at a time, I know, but can you project your thoughts three steps ahead? Yeah, I can. In this particular one, it's, it's a lot easier. <clears throat> DOCN trading at 35.83 up a dollar 53 right now. Digital Ocean Holdings Inc. <clears throat> Cloud Computing and Infrastructure. Now, I can't remember. Did you give this to me? Or is it one that showed up on my uh, on, on a list that I had? I don't. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> It's had a very quick peak C, D, and E, and stopped right at the 200-period moving average. The first step, so I'll go step by step. The daily chart says that the 200-period moving average, which it's been above before, but then it pulled back, and it's, it, it just, it's tremendous resistance. To get to the second step, it would have to get to the 37.50 to the 38.38 38 area. And the reason why I say that is that it's, it's forming a very nice channel to the upside. This channel also has the potential to be a Chapman wave falling axe, an inverted falling axe formation. I'll show you right here. Like that. Like that there. Which says it could arch over, and if it takes a 32, it's a 3582 uh, right now. If it closes under 32 any day in the next... I'd put it in the next seven, in the next, next nine trading days. It says it's stalling, and the second step is going to take a whole bunch of new buying to come in as it forms a base that should not break and close below 31. If, in fact, by Friday week, that's not this Friday, but the coming Friday, we are able to see this thing go to the 30, even 36s, 3680 area, to try to tackle this left side high right here, which is on the 12th of, of April at 37.80 and 96. No, I, I, it needs to do that. That's the first step that it needs to do before I can even talk about the second step. It needs to get and break and close above that high. Once it does, then the left side high of the 31st of March, which is at 30, 30 opens at 37 round number high. That's your big clue. When it starts to break above 37 at some point in the next six weeks, that's going to be your signal to say, ah, now we're looking at the 40 area. But until then, you've got to hold off. So 39.66 was the high. But that allows you, if you get to this trend line right here, it allows you to say, now I'm hugging a new line. I don't want to I take the time to do a left side, right side price time match. I'll do it next week. Remind me again. But now... You see the deepness of this peak D pullback, but the nine period never went negative. So far, that's a big positive. But the monthly chart says it had an IPO back in the 35 area uh, in 2021, screams up to 130, 100 points, and then not only gives it back, it goes below that. It goes into the 20s. And I had this as a left side, right side price time match uh, here. And it did the arch. It didn't draw it in. I'll draw it in right now. So this is DOC. I like the fact that you're looking at this in, in three separate stages because the three separate is this perfect for three separate stages. And you can see why. Look how hard it's working to have a deep. Look at the big legs it had up here. Look how hard it's working. So on the one hand, that's a negative because it's not showing tremendous buying power. On the other hand, it's a positive because it says, but wait a minute, Every look at the big pullbacks it had here. Here it's steady, and that's good. So that's the, the second step. Second step is to steadily move higher so that on a weekly basis, you can at least close in the in this candle right here. That's the one we were looking at. So that's the week of the 14th, it has a high of 37.96. Once it does that, the third step is that it starts to move and that move takes it above D. And all of this is predicated upon, uh, on in the next four weeks. It just does not close under 28.90. That's the low of the week of the four, 24th. So I love this. It's got a cup formation. It's now got a handle formation. It's not a pure cup. It's just the way I'm identifying it. And it says that the monthly chart, the histogram started to improve. The stochastics improving. Yes, I think... Dig Digital Ocean Holdings, I, I remember looking at the name and saying, well, what is this ocean business? Forget, don't confuse people with your title. That's why you got hit so hard. No, I don't know why you got hit so high. But anyway, cloud computing and infrastructure services. So I like this chart. I like what is happening. 
But those are the those are the, the preamble is that until it starts to train, looking out for the th fourth step. I'm saying third step is to get to the high of um, the 31st, the week of the 31st of March of uh, this year. Wow, of 3966 in a cup formation. But this time the cup formation has to see if it goes sideways for two weeks. That's kind of ruining the upside momentum. It has to continue the momentum. The fourth will be when it starts to trade in August or September, if everything works out and is trading in the 41 to 42 area, now you can start looking at it and say, great, now the 50s. But until then, a lot of steps need to be overcome. All right, next question I, I had was, um, if I can get to this right here. Yes, you remember I did this. It was live on the show. I spent a lot of time on it. And I spoke about Alta. Alta is the most perfect stock <clears throat> in the in the repertoire um, for showing peaks that it ignores and just it takes a bar or two, a, a weekly chart, monthly chart, and then it moves to another new high. And I said, when this finally take, tanks, Alta Beauty, it says well, something's going on because in the economy. People, this is the last thing you give up are beauty products. Come on. I mean, you make you make sure that you got your beauty products, right? Well, I had said, if I can find the chart. Yeah, you remember this double top? And I said, the left side, right side price time match says that, the, yes, there's no real price time match, but there is much weaker action on the right side um, if there is a pullback. And it, I think it was because there was this, bar that was pulling back that day. Oh, I, I didn't even realize. Look, I put in 560.60 on the 1st of May and in gray. That's why I didn't see it. Ah, let me make this nice and bold. <laughs> I I shouldn't do that because we didn't have any position at all. I spoke about it and I said, this looks like it's topping out based on the uh, action. In the, look at the monthly chart. I said, much weaker in the MACD, much weaker in the stochastic, only the on-balance volume is moving up. And that, that's like a delayed action. When it was at 560 on the 1st of May, we're not even at the 1st of June, and it's traded today down at the 420 level. Four, what was the low? Four. Uh, is that 20? Yeah, 425. <clears throat> wow. So that hit the 200 period moving average, tried to hold for th four days. Boom. Now, that's something that says to me, look at this in the context of what you were saying, that if it was going to be a recession or, or just a real major economic hardship for people, but you're not seeing that in the charts. And that's what I've been saying. Don't be confused by the rotation in the different sectors. Because as one sector just comes alive and then gets very overboard, other sectors are starting to improve and then they take over with the, with, with the hot sector becomes unhot. So is that clear? Yeah. Bowser 354, I'll be right back. Bowser chat. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. 
These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So in these spectacular moves to the upside, like today, I, I <coughs> call it spectacular because under all the conditions that we're looking at, with this huge move up with the QQQ, the SMHs yesterday, <clears throat> you would have expected some kind of a digestive phase, right? Well, here we are up 49, almost $50 in the S&P. And look, that nine period moving average in the one minute chart is still green all the way through, all the way through from the low of 930. It has not gone once pink. Uh, isn't that a nice technique? <clears throat> of course, I didn't do anything right now because I really had a busy morning. Just wasn't able to do anything, <laughs> but it would have been nice to have grabbed uh, Stephen a uh, one contract and just moved higher. It would have been great. Now look at this. You remember the left side, right side price time match that I had done and the measured move? We've broken way above that. But this is just a guide, just to tell you this is what can happen. Look, the 10-minute chart from 6 a.m. this morning has been green and still green in the 10-minute e-mini. All right, let's get back to the story here. What do we do? We got time. Yeah. So Ulta Beauty had this big move down. But this is almost the exact opposite. Look at this. This is Avagia. You know, uh, sorry, this is Broadcom. Uh, Broadcom, Inc., Semiconductors. <laughs> I, I, I hate it when they changed their symbol, AVGO. I mean, what? Oh, they took over Avagia. Um, anyway, look at this. All-time high at 767. <clears throat> so you say to yourself, all right, there's going to be a big crash in the market. <clears throat> a stock like this, which just three days ago was trading at 680 and is now at 766. What if there is? All it does is it goes all the way back to the 600s, the 600s, uh, 20 to 600 area. So that's the reason why, when, the more I looked at the charts, I said, <clears throat> any buy, any, is there a chance that we could be getting an actual buy signal this morning? And if it's points that we get, and then later on you get your pullback or whatever it is, <clears throat> that was the thinking. Well, at uh, this particular point, so the question in the den about uh, AVGO, all-time high bull bear, Jeff, yep, <clears throat> absolutely correct. I hope you're in it, and it's doing fabulously. So a question came up yesterday. You spoke about what, what, what was the ETF that you were talking about yesterday that um, you liked? For the oh oh for the cybersecurity and for the um, AI, <clears throat> so hack is is for the cybersecurity. I think it's still early in the game. I think there's moving up. There's this beautiful left side right side price tie match that I I drawn out just the other day, uh, <clears throat> and it's it's done that in just 43 to 48 in just a matter of uh, two weeks, uh, two three weeks. But this is the thing I'm looking at. This is the rectangle that I drew in a long time ago. <clears throat> Haven't updated it. And you can see it's been in the range. So talk about the range. I'll go to the TLT in a moment. But yeah, prime security is still early in the move up. 
And that's the reason why I was thinking, <clears throat> is there a chance now that we're looking at a rotation that says, finally, cyber it's just, it, this is the time for cyber to k kick in again. Don't tell me I lost all the notation on cyber. How could it, uh, why? Oh, man, I've got to do that again. All right, well, what was that, Fortinet yesterday? Fortinet, NT. Ew, I don't know if I got, yeah, Fortinet Cybersecurity. Nice move up today. And I said also in that game, and you've got PANW, Palo Alto. All-time high as we speak. Yep, 2.13 was the previous high in 20, early 2022. Today's high is 2.16.51. New all-time high. So that's the reason why I'm saying for those people who um, are looking at this being, uh, whatever techniques you use, it doesn't matter, as being, there we go, I just wanted to raise it up, it's the prelude to a massive move down you could be 100% correct, but it's just not showing up in the charts. You can't make a new all-time high in a Palo Alto um, and some going through the different sectors without showing some strength in the economy based on an area uh, that's been really weak. So I like that. The other one was, um, what was the question? Oh, the other one was what we have, which is uh, BOTZ. There's another one as well, Bug, I think. Oh, Bug is the one that goes with the um, with the hack. So this is the um, BOTS, the Global Robotics and AI ETF. This is what we've had for some time uh, since the beginning of April. And here it is at 27.29, making new recovery high. I had the left side, right side, price time match. Yeah, so the question was, is it too early to get into these things? And my answer is, I don't think it's too early at all. I think this is just the start. But at the same time, on a very short-term basis, it's really tough. I would much prefer if you enter into options, just go out a few months, go into August, option is trading at 27, get it in the money, or you can just get it out the money and say, that's money I'm prepared to lose, but I, I want to be in this if it ever picks up again after a, a dip. And you can get the 20, 28s. If there's, uh, yeah, it must be 28 calls. But I, the way I would look at it is now you have to have a little bit of patience if you want to do it with real money management. The only other thing I'd say is you can put your foot in the door at 27.30 right now. To be prepared, there's no reason why the 200 period moving average of 23 <clears throat> can't be hit in June if everything turns down because of, you know, whatever it is, uh, political or economically. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. So, yes, you kind of missed the boat for this move. It needs to come back. But you could do a stair-step move as well. But my thinking is that the rectangle that I drew between 25 and 23, that's going to be a really good cushion on any major turn down. And I'm going to be doing a, a webinar. Uh, I'm going to be doing – it's a live uh, – I'm a guest – of the Boston Investors Group, and I've spoken uh, to the group uh, uh, for just every year, just about for the last 15 or maybe more years, in various forms. And Investors Business Day, it was something else before that. It was also started by, oh, why is it with a D? Ducasse, uh, I can't remember his name. Wow, fabulous technician. Um, so, yeah, so I'll be doing that. It's live and it'll be. Um, YouTube, uh, no, sorry, it won't be YouTube. It'll be, have I got this here in front of me? Probably. Let me just find it. Uh, you should just be able to get it very easily by going uh, Boston, B-I-G is the symbol. Right here. There it is. Okay. Um, B-I-G, virtual meeting, uh, May Wednesday, May the 31st, 2023, 7 p.m., EDT, so Eastern Time, uh, preparing for the next few months, Basil Chapman. So I'm, 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 I'll do kind of what I do here, but I'm looking at certain sectors because I want to see how the month is about to conclude, which it will have concluded at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. And then I want to be able to talk about uh, questions that, that people, actually people could send me questions right now. Send it to Basil Chapman at tfnn.com for questions for the BIG virtual meeting. Uh, it should be fun. It's always fun and I always get good questions that are asked 
that get me thinking about stuff that I don't think in that way at all, and I'm put on the spot. It's always fun to do that. So, um, and I, there is, um, uh, you can find the link. It's just easy to do. It's like BPIG virtual meeting, Boston Investors Group virtual meeting. Okay, I'll be back in a moment for the final segment. Before the long weekend, actually, this is what I'm really looking forward to, just resting at home. It should be fun. I'll be back. Dow's at 349, SBs at 47. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Just as we're going to uh, the final segment, a question about on semiconductor. It's up uh, semiconductor. It's up 425, 86.25, made a peak T. <clears throat> Oh, I should never have put that. I think I even discussed it, that I should put a down arrow when the 9 is so strongly above the 14. I've got to put a plus, my usual plus sign. That's what I should have done. And now it's pulling, it's, it's running sharply. Peak C1, C2, I think it could even go to a D next week, but it's acting really well. That's what I mean. You've got to be very specific here. My question came in about UNG. Yeah, I said, don't touch UNG. It's just, look at it, it's down again. Now, so let me just wrap it up. CLT. <clears throat> 99 is going to be absolutely key support to hold, 99 to 98 in the TLT. Uh, the dollar sort of struggling here, got to the 200-period uh, moving average, moved above it. Now the MACD and Stochastic are holding very well, so I still see strength there, but I'm still looking at a, at a weekly rectangle formation, stuck in a trading range. Um, what did I forget? Crude oil, 
I said, no, 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 I don't like crude oil. There it is. Look, it's stuck. That lowercase h that goes to lowercase m, I respect that pattern. It can be formidable as you think it's going to break out, and then it doesn't. So let me just do this quickly as we're going to wrap up. They might be selling at the end of the day but because the Dow's already gone to the 200 period moving average. Who would have thought yesterday that it was so sharply down? And by today, a day before the long weekend, it's, it's up 348. But that's what oversold does. The Chapman Roman candle right there. So if by the end of the day the Dow holds to over a plus 270, that's good. If the S&P holds to over a, um, it's a 49. If it holds to over at this point at 4200, if it holds over 4183 is the number I'm looking at, that's going to be good. So we'll see what happens. But it looks to me like we're trying to run into the monthly chart to help those monthly charts have very good candles. We'll see what happens. Have a wonderful long weekend. Check out my opening call. Check out the uh, my Wednesday a week. Uh, no, this coming Wednesday, 7 p.m. the 31st of May, I'll be doing an online Boston Investors Group presentation. Have a wonderful week.